following my pregnancy announcement video, there are a few important things that I wanted to talk about. This is going to be a chatty video, however, an extremely important one. So I'll try and keep it as short as I possibly can. There are four things that you need to set straight within yourself, first and foremost, when you find out you're pregnant. Regardless of whether you've been planning for this your entire life, or if it is a surprise. First and foremost, have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with yourself. There's going to be so many changes that's going to happen that you have to be really honest with yourself. One of the most obvious changes is the one that you see in your body and you have to be prepared for this. Starting to see the numbers increase on your weighing scale and your measuring tape is not easy at all. But just remember, you will actually lose it a couple of months after the baby is born. It's not impossible. The sooner you accept this, the happier you will be in your mind and your heart. Trust me on this. Size really, really matters a lot to me. So initially, when I first saw the numbers increasing, it was really difficult. But as soon as I got this in my head that I have lost weight before, I have the discipline to do that, I will be able to do that again in the future, and you'll be fine. Also, you're growing a human in here. It's not normal to be able to grow a human in here. And that's the part which is far more overwhelming than the changes to your body. There will definitely be changes to your career. There is always a season for everything and this is a season for you to rest and relax and grow a baby. Your body will need a lot of rest that it will automatically slow down regardless of you being able to control it. But once a baby is born and self-sufficient, you will then be able to go back to your career and pick it up from where you left it. It's not the end of the world. You could potentially even start a new career, build up an extra one, you never know. They always say that mothers are far more resilient than anyone else. So you never know, you'll probably end up with a far better career than you had before the baby itself. There will also be changes to your personality and your lifestyle. If you're the kind who is always active, it's now time for you to slow down a little bit. You won't be able to be as active as you were before, but that doesn't matter, you will pick up your pace sooner or maybe later, you never know, but it will come back at some point. And if you're the kind who is always productive, always doing something, forget about that a little bit. My productivity went out the window completely. I'm the kind of person who doesn't really watch TV over the weekdays at all. I have a strict rule at home that we don't watch TV over weekdays, only the weekend. And we are always busy and occupied doing a lot of things and always being productive and genuinely just occupied, not just busy, but occupied doing something which is useful and beneficial for us. But during my first trimester, I watched TV every single day. I was so tired, I was mentally exhausted. I wasn't doing as much work at all, but I just couldn't think. I couldn't read a book, I couldn't do any work at all, I couldn't do any housework. I'm the kind of person who's always cleaning, always tidying, always busy and occupied doing something, but at that time, I just couldn't do anything. I watch TV every single day. I binge watch so many shows. I signed up for um, Disney Plus, Netflix. I think I had Netflix for a short period of time, but I just watched a lot of things on TV. And it's okay. You just need to rest. You need to do what you can do at that time. It's fine. As long as you tell yourself it's going to be okay, it will be okay. Secondly, read up as much as you can. There are a lot of materials available for you, whether it's online, whether it's book, whether you have friends and family or, you know, some forum that you choose to join in. Just read up so that you know some standard practices and standard experiences and everything. But bear in mind, no two people are the same and no two pregnancies are the same. Even if you've been pregnant before, the second child may not be the same way as the first child was and your second pregnancy is not going to be the exact same as your first pregnancy and other people's experience will not necessarily be yours at all. You can listen to advice from other people, you can um, listen to experiences from other people but always bear in mind that your own experiences are different from others so there's really no point comparing with others but it is important to be aware of a lot of other things as well. It's also good to journal at this time. You can note down all of your symptoms and your experiences, what kind of food you can and cannot eat, um, what kind of triggers your nausea, what um, helps you reduce that nausea, what helps you reduce your tiredness, what time you need to sleep, how much water you drink, 
all of those things will come in handy when you have your midwife appointment and it'll also come in handy for you to see your own pattern or changes in your lifestyle so that you will be able to amend it according to how and what works for you and there are two books that I would highly, highly recommend. The first one is What to Expect When You're Expecting. It's a known fact that this book has been a bestseller year in, year out for pregnancy. And there is a second book that not many people talk about. This one is for the fathers. It's called The Expectant Father. Um, I was rather surprised by Lakshman knowing so many things about pregnancy and so many things that I have heard from my own midwife. That Lakshman didn't know so before I could even share with him he was discussing certain things with me and he found all of those in the book. In fact I probably owe it to this book that Lakshman's mentality about the pregnancy and him taking over all of the responsibilities from me at home kind of changed maybe because of the book as well. I was expecting him to help me but instead he just took over everything from me. I didn't have to worry about anything, I didn't have to organize anything, I didn't have to plan anything, I just tell him what I want to eat and he does it. So he does the meal planning, he does the grocery shopping, he does the cleaning, he does the cooking, he does everything which made things so much more easier for me. There's a lot of things in this book that uh, encourages men to be more involved. I've not read this book, I probably want to have a look through it but I haven't gotten a chance to do that. But this book is really, really interesting and it's very good. I would highly recommend that. The next on the list would be to get your partner and your family on board as soon as you possibly can. This is not the time for you to actually show that you can handle things, even if you are capable of it, even if you have been capable of it in the past, you really, really need help this time. If you live with your extended family members, feel free to always get them involved or get them to help you with a lot of things that you need help with, especially the housework and cooking and everything, so you don't have to worry about it. If you go out to work, then you only need to focus on working and when you get back, you have food ready for you and then you can go and sleep and you can rest as much as you can. Again, I need to point out you're growing a human that's a tiny baby growing out of nothing at all and it takes so much out of you without you realizing it actually kind of drains you for the first couple of months until the baby is able to sustain himself or herself and then you kind of gain your energy a little bit after that. I haven't got any family around me at the moment it's just Lakshman and I here in Bristol because of the pandemic we've not been able to go back easily or they've not been able to come here to help us and support us as well but we've got a lot of close friends around but again, due to the pandemic, they've not been able to come and help. But it's not been that bad at all. Lakshman takes care of everything and because it's just the two of us, we haven't got any other children to take care of or we haven't got any other dependents to rely on us. It's made things so much more easier for us. But I definitely wouldn't have been able to handle everything on my own like I used to before. That's why I say it's so important to have your partner or your family on board or your friends or whoever you can rely on basically. And finally, enjoy yourself. It may not happen again for a very long time. Unless you're the kind who has plans for the next 10 years, you plan to have however many children within a year or two years gap and you know all that jazz. Um, but still, I'm not that kind of a person at all. I don't plan things that I cannot control. And pregnancy is definitely one of the things that I have no control over. Even if you have planned to have however many children you want to in the near future, no two pregnancies are the same. Your experiences are not going to be the same at all. Each one is so different, so unique, and each one is just precious, you know? So you really need to take it all in and enjoy it. Enjoy the experience. Enjoy being loved, being nurtured, enjoy the baby itself. This is a special bond between you and the baby that your partner cannot experience or your family cannot experience. When the baby first moves, it is you who feels it and not your partner. No one knows for such a long time. It is you who understands the baby's pattern and the baby will understand your pattern, your mentality, your mindset and everything. So it just goes without saying, it's such an important time for you to be able to enjoy this pregnancy. If you can release your mind from all of the things that keeps bothering you, then you'll be able to enjoy it throughout. That's all I wanted to talk about today. Four simple facts that you need to straighten out in your mind. It may seem as if you would have heard all of these things before, but another reminder 
can never do any harm at all. It's such important things to set your own mental health in place during your pregnancy. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe so that you are notified every time I upload new videos. And also, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. So share it with me in the comments below. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye!